Set in a dystopian near future where Earth's temperature has increased due to global warming and drinking water has become scarce, a man named Virgil is traveling in a train. There's also a woman with her kid in the train. Virgil has a piece of bread which he was about to eat but seeing that poor woman staring at him, he donates the bread to that woman and departs from the train. He then arrives at an outpost where he sees a man watching the TV and asks him about a man named Keith with whom he is supposed to meet and tells him that he wants to go to a place called the compound. He doesn't get any answers, so he repeats his questions multiple times but still no response from that man. At last, he asks him if he has a bathroom. The man then points his finger towards a direction. Virgil goes towards that direction and finds a bathroom. It's a very, very filthy bathroom, but he still uses it. After some time, he hears some approaching footsteps. It is Keith who asks him, is he the one who wants to go to the compound? He says yes. Before leaving, Virgil cleans himself with water, leaving the tap open. Keith reminds him not to waste water as it is very scarce these days. Virgil immediately closes the tap and they leave in the truck. While driving, Keith tells Virgil that he owes him $320 for the ride, including the cost of gas and water. Virgil says that he was only supposed to pay him $200, but it's fine and he's ready to pay extra. He then turns on the AC, but Keith immediately turns it off. He warns him not to turn it back on, because then it will blow up the engine. After driving for a while, one of the truck's tires gets punctured. Virgil helps him change the tire. There. They see a wild dog eating another injured wild dog. Keith scares off the dog and puts the injured dog out of his misery with a piece of a rock. In the night, they stop and sit around the fire to eat and rest. Keith asks Virgil why he wants to go to the compound. Virgil says opportunity and shows him a leaflet. Keith says that he is gonna have a hard time there and he can also become target for some people. Virgil says that he's not afraid of hard work and he can handle himself. On the next day, Virgil is driving the truck and Keith is taking a nap. He ignores Keith's warning and turns the AC all the way up. Sometime later, as expected, the engine starts to make strange noises. Virgil immediately turns off the AC. Keith, now awake angrily tells him to pull over. He is very angry with Virgil. Virgil apologizes to him. Keith forgives him and tells him it's not that big of a deal. Virgil goes to take a piss while Keith fixes the truck. It is there he notices something. He goes to inspect the object which seems like a shiny looking piece of rock. He cleans the sand and it turns out to be a piece of gold which is buried under the sand. He thinks for a while and after some hesitation, he calls out to Keith and tells him to come check this out. Keith comes to check it and seems surprised. He takes out his lighter and tells Virgil that if it turns black, it ain't gold. But it doesn't turn black. The two stare at each other and Keith confirms it to be real gold. They start digging the sand and try to get the gold out from there with their bare hands. But it is too heavy and they fail every time. So they decide to use the truck to pull the gold out but the rope breaks every time. The sun is about to go down so Keith suggests they should collect some firewood to keep the wild dogs away. They gather some firewood and make a camp and celebrate about the gold. After failing to extract it with their basic tools and truck, Keith tells Virgil that one of them will have to go find an excavator and the other will stay with the gold to protect it. Keith says he knows about a place in the east where he has some contacts but it will take 5 days to complete the journey, 2 days there, 2 days back and 1 to sort an excavator. He wants Virgil to go find the excavator while he stays with the gold. Virgil says that he will stay here with the gold and tells Keith to find the excavator. Keith is reluctant and tells him about the challenges he'll have to face if he stays. He'll have to watch out for his water and food and will have to catch any animal if he sees one. Also, he'll have to stay out from the sun. Plus, his main task would be to protect the gold from the strangers. He tells Virgil that he may feel safe with him here but once he's gone with the truck and he's all alone by himself, it's a different feeling and he might do something stupid and insists him to go find the excavator. But Virgil tells him that he'll be fine and convinces him to go find the excavator. On the next day before leaving, Keith gives him some cans of food, a small gallon of water, a water bottle, a small knife to hunt any animals for food and a satellite phone. He then wishes him good luck and leaves. Just after Keith leaves, he immediately hides the gold and covers it up with the sand. Then, he makes a shelter for himself under a dead tree trunk. Then, he gathers some firewood and prepares the fire. Night falls. He eats his food and prepares to sleep. But the continuous growling of the wild dogs keep him awake. Next morning, he receives a phone call but he fails to answer it on time. He then sees a light reflection on a distance and goes to investigate it. There, he finds a crashed plane and decides to improve his shelter with the plane's parts. He makes himself a better shelter from the pieces of the crashed plane. Next day, when he wakes up, he notices his skin has got sunburns due to being out in the hot sun for a longer amount of time. Then he goes to check the gold and after thinking for some time, he breaks a big piece of gold from the gold nugget and decides to leave. 
but before he can leave, he receives a phone call from Keith who tells him that he is at the way station and he had to stop there to cool the vehicle. He tells him that he is moving as fast as he can, but this could take longer time. Virgil tells him that he broke off a decent chunk of gold from the pig piece and intends to leave the place. Keith tells him not to do so because this is one in a lifetime opportunity and they can have all the gold and persuades him to stay there with the gold. In the night, Virgil gets surrounded by a pack of wild dogs but the fire saves his life this time. In the next morning, he wakes up and notices that his whole face is covered with sunburns. He then fills his bottle with whatever water he had left in the gallon and drinks it. Then, he spots an approaching snake and tries to kill it with the small knife which Keith gave him to hunt for food. But he misses his attack and loses his chance of having some extra food and the snake gets away without a scratch. After his little hunting failure, Virgil notices that he spilled his bottle of water when he jumped to catch the snake. He immediately picks up the bottle but it's too late and most of his water is wasted and now lies in the sand. He tries to drink some of the water from the sand, still it's a big threat to his survival. Sometime later, he was scavenging a metal part from the crashed plane. Then, he saw a woman approaching towards him and quickly ran inside the plane and hid the piece of gold in his bag. The woman had spotted him and told him to come out. He had no other option but to come out, so he came out. The woman looked like a hunter and was well equipped. She offers him food but he denies. Then, she offers him water but he again denies. So just to let him know it's water, she takes a sip but he still denies. She asks him why is he alone out here, to which he says that it's as good a place as any. She tells him there's about 5 kilometers away, there's actually a water hole and shelter. But he says he likes it here. The woman becomes suspicious and starts heading towards his camp. He tells her to take the plane and leave him be. But she ignores his offer and starts to follow him, asking multiple questions. Irritated from her questions, Virgil screams at her and tells her to fuck off. She tells him to calm down and breathe and goes on by saying that he can't survive out here because sooner or later he will run out of water and get dehydrated. Then his brain will start to malfunction causing him to hallucinate and at the end, death. Then she starts checking his shelter which pisses him off. He repeatedly tells her to leave him and his stuff alone. But she says that he is definitely hiding something and starts to ask the same questions again and again. Irritated with her repeated questions, Virgil attacks her in the head with the piece of a metal, instantly killing her and putting himself in a state of shock by what he just did. But he gets a hold of himself and loots some of the stuff from her corpse, including the food and water. Then, he digs a grave and buries her body nearby. Later when he was eating his food, he notices that the wild dogs have started to pull out the dead lady's corpse from her grave to eat her. He scares off the dogs and drags her body away from his camp. Then, he gathers some firewood and burns her dead corpse. On the next day, he wakes up to Keith's phone call, who tells him that he is out with the excavator now and tells him to call him in this number. But he also says that the excavator is slowing him down and it could take a little bit longer. Virgil cries while listening to him and tells him to hurry up. As they were speaking, he sees a vehicle passing by and for a second he decides to leave this place. So he hangs up the phone, puts his piece of gold in the bag and as he was about to call out to the vehicle, he looks at the buried gold one last time and for the sake of it, kills his thought of leaving this place. A day later, as he was gathering firewood, he sees a massive sandstorm approaching. He instantly runs inside his shelter and tries to hold the bag with the gold inside. But when the storm hits, one by one, the parts from the plane start to fall out and now his food cans. The water gallon and his water bottle is lost to strong winds of the storm. And at last, his shelter gets destroyed. Left with no choice, he starts running. But then he gets hit by a tree trunk and the scene changes. A day has passed since the storm hit. Virgil is completely buried in the hot sand and he was impaled by a tree trunk which hit in his abdomen area. He wakes up in agony, completely deteriorated physically and mentally and emotionally broke by realizing that his shelter and all his stuff is gone. He searches for his bag of gold and finds his last can of food filled with dust and sand. He eventually finds the gold. He then takes out the piece of wood and shuts the wound with a hot can lid and passes out. He slightly wakes up and sees a crossbow aimed towards his head by a woman. She gives him water. Then he starts having hallucinations of that woman whom he killed earlier. Sometime later, he wakes up and hears his satellite phone ringing. He digs it up from the sand and answers it. It is Keith on the other side who tells him he is nearby. Virgil says that she is all over the place. Keith asks him is someone else there, has he seen the gold and tells Virgil to get rid of her. It is then a woman asks him if he is hungry. He looks on his left and she looks like the same woman whom he killed earlier. She offers him food and water and tells him that she can save his life if he lets her help him. 
but he rudely denies her help and tells her to leave him. The woman claims to be the earlier woman's sister and asks him if he has seen her. Virgil tells her to leave and just after she leaves, he passes out. When he wakes up, he notices that someone has placed multiple fires around him to save him from the wild dogs. It was probably that woman. He instantly makes contact with Keith via radio, who asks him, did he get rid of that woman? Virgil asks him that where is he? He informs Virgil that he is close by and he can see smoke. Critically injured, Virgil is completely surrounded by a pack of wild dogs. He tries to scare them off and tells Keith to hurry up. It is now revealed that Keith has arrived here with the excavation equipment maybe two days ago. He has set up his camp at a distance where Virgil can't see him, and he is watching him with the binoculars and waiting for him to die. One by one, the dogs start to attack Virgil. He now realizes that Keith double-crossed him and throws the phone and starts crying and screaming that it's his gold as he found it. With these being his last words, he is finally attacked by the wild dogs. As the dogs drag him away from the gold, Keith watches this from a distance. Before dying, Virgil Virgil looks at the leaflet which brought him here and dies, and the scene shifts to Keith. He comes with the excavator and stops near Virgil's dead body. He looks at him one last time and as he moves in to extract the gold, Keith is shot in the chest with an arrow. The movie ends with that being said. Now if you enjoyed the presentation, subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications by pressing the bell icon. With that being said, I bid you farewell and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye and take care.